We are now going to talk about the minimum or maximum of a quadratic function. And so we're going to start with the same basic shapes of a quadratic. So no matter what our quadratic is, it always looks like one of the following. It's either going up or it's going down. And in both cases, it has a vertex. And the vertex here is the lowest point this graph gets to if it's going up, and it's the highest point it gets to if it's going down. So we have a minimum here, and we have a maximum here. And this all depends on what our A value is. If A is positive, it's going up, so we have a minimum. If A is negative, it's going down, we have a maximum. So that's a question that you could be asked. Does this function have a minimum or a maximum? The other two questions we could ask is what is the input of the min-max, or what is the value of the min-max? And so if we ask for the input, this is always h. And if we ask for the value or the output, that's always k. But the same thing we did before for graphing and finding h and k is the same thing we do now to, to find the minimum or the maximum. So we're going to start with a simple example. f of x equals 3x squared plus 12x minus 7. And we want to determine, does this have a minimum or a maximum. And so we look at the first value, we look at the 3, and we say, oh, this is positive. That means it has a minimum because it's going up, so it has a low point. The input that gives the minimum, and the question is usually phrased as min max because they don't want to tip their hand before you get there. But now that we know it's a minimum, we know it's a minimum, so we find h. So h is minus b over 2a. So it's minus 12 over 2 times 3, which is 6. So this simplifies to minus 2. So the input that gives the minimum is minus 2. The value of the minimum is k. And k is f of h, which is minus 2. So we get 3 times minus 2 squared plus 12 times minus 2 minus 7. Minus 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times minus 2 is minus 24 minus 7. Minus 12 minus 7. Our minimum value then is minus 19. That's the lowest this function gets to. All right. We also want to show this in a real world application. So we're going to drag over this story problem. The marketing department of Texas Instruments has found that when a certain model of calculator is sold at a price of P dollars, the daily revenue R in dollars as a function of the price P is RP equals minus 0.5P squared plus 75P. And it's clear we're going to have a maximum because our A is negative. So to find the price, which is the input, remember price P dollars is the input, that's H. So we want to know minus b over 2a, minus 75. We want to know what price we set at to maximize this. So this is 2 times minus 0 0.5. Well, 2 times 0.5 is nice, because that just goes to 1. So this is minus 75 over minus 1, which is 75. So if we sell this at $75, we will maximize our revenue. To find the maximum revenue, so that was a. To find the maximum revenue, we need to find k, which is f of 75 which is going to be, this is where a calculator comes in handy, so we grab a calculator. And our calculator is point, minus point 0.5 times 75 times, oops, times 75 plus 75 times 75. And the maximum revenue we get in dollars is $2,812.50. And so this is our maximum price, and this is how much revenue we get from just that calculator.